everybody knows table values of sinuses. For example, sinus 13 degrees equals to 1 divided by 2, sinus 16 degrees equals to square root 3 divided by 2, sinus 19 degrees equals to 1. It's simple. But what is the value of sinus 18 degrees. 99% miss this value because it's very rare and it meets only in some special trigonometrical books. Some persons even say that it's impossible to find it ourselves. But let's try. At first, what we can see? 5 times 18 degrees equals to 90 degrees. And 90 degrees we can break down into two parts in 54 degrees plus 36 degrees. 54 equals to 3 times 18 degrees, while 36 equals to 2 times 18 degrees. And knowing the trigonometrical properties, we understand if alpha plus beta equals to 19 degrees, then cosine alpha equals to sine Beta. So, we understand that cosine 54 degrees equals to sine 36 degrees. Or we can write it like cosine 3 times 18 degrees equals to sine 2 times 18 degrees. Let's write left side of this equation cosine 3 times 18 degrees degrees. But how we can do it? We have to know formula of third angle, like cosine 3 x. What is that? We can write it in interesting way, like cosine 2 x plus x. And knowing the formula of cosine, we understand that it equals to cosine 2 x times cosine x minus, here is minus, sine of 2 x times sine x. Writing cosine 2 x like cosine squared x minus sine squared x brackets time cosine x minus and writing sine to x like 2 sine x cosine x we still understand that it equals to 2 sine squared x cosine x and it equals to cosine to the power 3 x minus 3 times sine squared x cosine x and now if we write sine squared x like 1 minus cosine squared x, we get that finally cosine of 3x equals to 4 times cosine to the power of 3x minus 3 times cosine x. It means that we can write cosine 3 times 18 degrees like 4 times cosine to the power of 3 18 degrees minus 3 times cosine 18 degrees. And you know it equals to sine of 2 times 18 degrees. It equals to 2 times sine 18 degrees cosine 18 degrees. We know that cosine 18 degrees is more than 0. So we can divide left and right side of these equations by cosine 18 degrees. And then we get 4 times cosine square 18 degrees minus 3 equals to 2 times sine 18 degrees. Now let's write cosine 18 degrees like 1 minus sine square 18 degrees. And then we get 4 times sine squared 18 degrees plus 2 times sine 18 degrees minus 1 and it equals to 0. Now let's name sine 18 degrees like t. And here we get a quadratic equation like 4 times t squared plus 2 times t minus 1 and equals to 0. We know that t lies between minus 1 and 1. And now let's find discriminant of this quadratic equation. Discriminant equals to 4 minus minus plus 16 and it equals to 20. It's bigger than 0, of course. And then we have that t first or second equals to minus 2 plus minus square root of 20, 2 times square root 5 divided by 8, or minus 1 plus or minus square root 5 divided by 4. First case, minus 1 minus square root 5 divided by 4 is not our solution. 
because sine 18 degrees is bigger than zero. So we have another t and it's our solution. The t equals to sine 18 degrees and it equals to minus 1 plus square root 5 divided by 4. Do you like it? It's not so simple, but I think it worth it. So guys, now you know another table sign. Sign 18 degrees. It's not so easy to remember like sign 1 divided by 2, like sign 13 degrees or sign 16 degrees or sign 90 degrees. I hope that you really enjoyed the video. I hope that you are going fun and you are really have a good day. Thanks for watching this video and I really want to see you in the next one.